Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel SQL Intel Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are going to talk about the theory behind the instant coffee production. First, let's see what is instant coffee. Instant coffee is the dried soluble portion of roasted coffee. It can be presented to the consumer in either powder or granule form for immediate makeup in hot water. Whilst the insoluble parts or spent coffee ground are left behind the factory for the manufacturer to dispose of. There are four main types of coffee. They are Arabica, Robusta, Liberica and Excelsa. Most common and popular types of coffee are Arabica and Robusta. Now let's see what are the instant coffee processing steps. They are green coffee roasting and grinding, then extraction. After the extraction, we do the concentration process and finally the drying process. There are two methods of drying as spray drying and freeze drying. The first step is green coffee roasting and grinding. According to worldwide stands, each batch of coffee must be roasted at 188 to 282 Celsius within 8 to 20 minutes depending on the size of the roaster and variety. The beans shrink about 20% by weight as they gain a dark hue and fragrant aroma. The natural flavor of the coffee is kept to a great extent as roasting technology advances. After roasting, the beans must be ripe from the inside with no edge burn, bloom uniformly and no calluses. The coffee must be pounded into a fine powder after being roasted. The next step is extraction. This stage in the instant coffee production process gathers the soluble substances in the roasted coffee powder into the water. A temperature insulated coffee powder storage tower serves as the extraction apparatus. Before injecting water into the extraction, manufacturers might moisten the coffee powder using saturated steam. Hot water will be injected into the towel from the bottom passing through a column of roasted coffee powder. The water used for the extraction must be between 80 and 90 Celsius. The water will extract even harmful compounds at higher temperatures. During the extraction process, the extraction of solutes occurs. At the very top of the tower, the coffee solution is collected. The extraction is repeated numerous times to restrict the amount of fine powder dissolved thoroughly into the water during the extraction. The amount of solutes in the extract will increase through the coffee powder storage towels. The extracted coffee solution can have a concentration of about 20 to 22 percent. The next step is concentration. 
The coffee solution with a concentration of 20 to 22 percent during the extraction stage of the instant coffee production process need to concentrate to a 30 to 33 percent concentration. This is the appropriate setting for a smooth drying operation. Vacuum concentration is the most prevalent method of concentration. The coffee solution is injected into a heating unit at this moment. Under the effect of temperature, water will evaporate. The steam will be absorbed by the vacuum formed by the barometer and condensed at the condenser. The concentration procedure will end after the coffee solution has reached the desired concentration. Finally, the extracted and concentrated coffee solution should be dried. Let's see how to do it by using spray drying method. The extract contains 20 to 25 percent solid, which may be fed directly to the spray dryer or pre concentrated up to 60 percent solids. The coffee solution is pumped into the spray dryer stop at this moment. The coffee solution enters the spray dryer in the form of a mist from nozzle atmos atomiz atomizer, rotates at high speed. Hot dry air forced into the spray dryer to dry them. The bottom of the spray dryer collects instant coffee powder. Powdered coffee has a moisture content of 1 to 2 percent after drying and is dark brown in hue. Now let's see how to do it using freeze drying method in order to freeze dry the solids in the concentrate should be greater than 40 percent the initial temperature of concentrated solution is 50 celsius this solution should be cooled to 0 to 3 celsius to reduce the volatility of aromatic substances Plate type heat exchange is usually used to cool the concentrated solution. The cooled concentrated solution is piped to ice slicing machine. The solution is frozen in the ice slicing machine. The vaporizing temperature of the refrigerant is minus 30 Celsius. And the thickness of sliced frozen concentrate is 5 to 10 millimeters and the temperature is about minus 10 celsius then the materials are cooled to minus 43 celsius by a freeze tunnel before grinding by twin roll grinder the temperature of the freezing storage room is about minus 40 celsius in the storage room, trays of materials are mounted on a small crane. Then the materials are sent to freeze drying chamber by the small cranes rolling through the track. After that, the door is closed and vacuumed the drying chamber to 0.5 millibar. Then the coffee particles are dried at minus 27 Celsius under 0.5 millibar. The heat needed for the sublimation is provided by the heater inside the chamber. The sublimated vapor is condensed on the cold trap. The freeze dried coffee particles should be packaged into thin film bags immediately to prevent moist absorption and the package room should keep the temperature of 25 celsius and relative humidity below 30 to 40 percent when we consider about the stability and storage of instant coffee instant coffee is relatively hygroscopic easily picking up moisture from the atmosphere and caking at about seven to eight 
percent of moisture content for an example uh, to keep instant coffee below 5 percent moisture content the relative humidity of the air with which it is in contact must be below 35 to 40 percent Though the precise value depends upon the nature of the instant coffee, in question primarily due to differences in porosity of the partic particular particles made. So it is necessary therefore that jars of instant coffee be well sealed prior to sale. So that is the end of our today lesson and you can search more about the theory behind the instant coffee production from books and online research articles if you like this video please give it thumbs and thumbs up and hope to catch you next time with a new lesson thanks for watching